Hello, this is Family Craft Dad. Welcome to my installation tutorial for the Replay Mod. This is the first installment of a series of tutorials I'm creating for the Replay Mod, so if you already have it installed, you can find links to the other parts of this series in the description below. I'm going to assume for the sake of this tutorial that you have not ever installed Forge or any Forge mods. Before I go on, I should mention that all the links you'll need will be provided in the description below. Alright, to install Forge, first you'll need to download the latest version of Forge for your version of Minecraft. Replay Mod works on every version of Minecraft from 1.8 on. Soon 1.7 will be available as well. Now when you go to the screen, do not click anything down here. No, up here. This is where you want to go. There's usually a countdown and then a skip button. You click that button, and you wait for a minute. <laughs> there it goes. Now it's downloaded. However, before you run it, you have to, have to, have to make sure that that version of Minecraft has been run. And in my case, it has not yet. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to run Minecraft in 1.12.2. Once it has run, you go ahead and hit quit game. You go ahead and run the installation for Forge. Make sure to click install client. Usually it's the default and you hit OK. And there you go. That is Forge all installed and ready to go. Now, actually, you have to run Minecraft once again with your new version of Forge. Sometimes you'll find it in the list here, and sometimes you won't. So in my case, I have to go into Launch Properties and set up a new Forge. Sometimes it's really difficult to find it, but I found it. It's right here, 1.12.2 Forge. Boom. We're going to save that. Go into here, and we're going to run it. So you run it for the first time, and what it will do is it will create the mods folder for you. Now, if you already have your mods folder, because you've installed Forge before, you don't have to run it again just to get that going. Go ahead, hit Quick Game again. Close everything out. Now you can close your Forge download page. And as you can see here, we are ready to install the replay mod. So go on and hit this Download Now button, and you will see a page with various versions of Minecraft. You'll have to pick the one that you want to install on. And in my case, it's 1.12.2. Click the download button here. Again, this page, this thing right here. Ignore everything in this page. Do not click anything. You'll, you'll be in a world of hurt if you do. It just doesn't, just don't do it. Click the skip add. That's what you always click, okay? And that should start downloading right over there. While that's downloading, what we're going to do is we're going to find the folder where your mods folder is. So what we have to do is we have to get to the Minecraft folder. So what you do is you click start and on earlier versions of Windows, you would have to click run. But in this case, you can just start typing. You just say app data with those percent signs around it. You hit enter and it'll bring up this folder and it should bring you right here where you'll see dot Minecraft. Double click that. And in my case, I have a lot going on here. You'll probably have a lot less folders than me. I just have a lot going on in my Minecraft. But then you'll want to open up the mods folder. Boom. And in my case, I have them split out. The new launcher actually will look at the correct folder based on the version that you have. So in my case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a folder for 1.12.2. But if this is the first time you've installed Forge, you don't need to do this because you only have one set of mods and that's for your most recent version of Minecraft. But eventually you may want to do this. So it might be a good idea to do it now anyway. So we open up that folder. We bring this back up, click keep. If you're running Chrome, it will probably tell you, hey, that's a jar file, could be dangerous. It's not, it's the replay mod, you're good. We wait for it to finish up here. It takes a little while with the replay mod because it's a bigger file and Chrome has a lot more text to have to go through to make sure that the mod is safe. There we go. You'll see that little flashing of the white circle there when it's done and you just drag it right on into your mods folder. Boom. Done. And now you have the replay mod installed. However, you cannot do any renders until you do this next step. Now you probably noticed right here, we're on the FFMPEG page. Now what FFMPEG does is it allows Replay Mod to save it as an MP4 or any kind of file format like that. Now this could be one of the more difficult parts for you, but if you follow this, 
it's not going to be too bad. So here we go. This is what we're going to do. First, you have to download it. And this page alone can be kind of confusing. You don't want to grab the tar file right there. You don't want that. You want to build. You want a Windows build. So you click Windows and you click that link there. And then you want the 64-bit most likely. Otherwise, you know, you might have a 32-bit system. It might be a little older of a computer, but for mine, it's a 64-bit system. You want the static because that's the easiest to work with. Shared does work, but you have to kind of know what you're doing. So static works the best for pretty much everyone. Now you're going to go ahead and click download FFMPEG and you wait. All right. It blinks again. That's Chrome letting you know everything's okay there. And now we have a zip file. So we're going to open that up just by clicking it in my case, but you may have to go a different route just to get it open. But then you got this folder right here. So what you want to do is you want to move that into your C drive. So what you're going to do is you go right here to the local disk C drive and you can put this anywhere you want, but this is the best way that I've found. You can actually put this file right here in the C drive. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rename that just FFMPEG. As you can see up here, I've already got it installed. So I'm going to delete this. We're going to open this up and you can see you've got all these things here. That's fine. We're done. That's, that's it installed. However, this is the more difficult part. You've got to be able to tell Windows where that is. And the way to do that is to set what's called the path variables. In order to do that, first you're going to need to go into your control panel. There's various ways to do it. This is the way I do it on Windows 10. I just start typing control panel. It's the first thing that comes up. And then in this search, we're going to type in system. The first thing right up here is what you want. Edit the system environment variables. And then you go into this one right here. I know this is a lot of steps. I'm um, trying to take my time here, but go ahead and click this environment variables down here. Now, in this case, you're gonna want to change what's called the path variables. You can change it for your local, but if you want it to work for all of your users on your machine, you're gonna wanna change this one down here, the system variables path, all right? and you click edit. Now this is Windows 10 version of this. I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description for all the other versions of how to do this because Windows 10 is the only one that looks like this. This is very, very handy because all you have to do is you click new. And as you can see right here, you're gonna to wanna to do exactly that. You do C drive FFMPEG slash bin. Now it's already in there for me, so I'm gonna clear that out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit cancel, but you hit okay. And you are done and ready to go at that point. Now, like I said, that's Windows 10. There's multiple ways of having to do that depending on your OS. Look in the description below. I'll leave a link on how to do that for your specific OS. Now, Replay Mod is 100% done, but I recommend that you also install Optifine because, well, let's face it, Minecraft wouldn't be anything without Optifine, in my opinion anyways, I suppose. But what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna download the version of Optifine for the version of Minecraft you picked. Click download. Once again, you ignore everything in here. This is no go, do not touch. This is where everybody makes their mistakes. They click these things and they're like, the download link doesn't work and blah, no. You click skip add. In this case, they actually have another one of these pages, but all you have to do is click this middle one right here and it downloads the app. All you have to do is hit keep and this one is a little faster because it's a smaller file. There you go. And then, like we did before, we have the replay mod in this folder. We're gonna move Optifine into this folder as well. And that's it. Now you can run Minecraft and you'll see that the replay mod is installed. You have some new options. You have replay editor, replay viewer, and replay center. Big one you're gonna wanna use is replay viewer, but nothing's gonna be in there until you've played Minecraft for a little bit. But we'll get into how to use Replay Mod in the next tutorial. Now, if you found this tutorial useful, please consider clicking that like button. And if you think I've earned your subscription, then you have my thanks. But until next time, this has been FamilyCraft. Toodles. <laughs>